During my last poll on Twitter, people suggested that I make a tutorial about detailed hair physics. So today, I'll be teaching you all how to rig hair physics without skinning. Hi, my name is Runa and I'm a Live 2D artist and rigger. I post Live 2D tutorials every now and then to help people like you to learn more about rigging. Before starting off on a tutorial, you'll need to prepare these parameters. Each hair layer that you have requires two parameters. I'll be putting this image in the description below for download. Alright, now let's move on with the tutorial. So today for this tutorial, I will be using a mousey's model. I'll be putting their links in the description below. So now you should have your physics parameters like already set up, like your parameters, the ones that I've shown earlier. So you go to a hairpiece and then you use this tool called the deform path. And then you add deform paths depending on the length of your hair. Usually I like to put at least five dots, but you can actually add more, but I find it quite hard to move it around when there's too many. So one second, let me just find the parameters for this. Uh, there it is. All right, so you have two parameters set up for one hair layer. You go to this one and you rig the first uh, parameter just as you like normally would rig hair like this. You go left and right. And then for the second parameter, all you have to do is add like a small curl to the hair like this. Left and right. Now what you do from here is you go to your first parameter and move it to another keyform and then you do the same. So right and left. You make it curl a little. Same for this side. And then after you've done all that, you can link these two parameters together and then check how it looks like. It looks a little bit silly right now, but later on in the physics, settings when you actually set it up it will look much better all right now we can move on to the physics so what you do here from the physics is that you click over here add and then you name this group you name a group according to the layer the hair layer that you want physics for so you name it and then you add it and then this will probably pop up so what you do first from here is add three inputs, angle X, angle Y, and angle Z. Make sure to set angle X and angle Y at position X and angle Z at just angle. So I usually like to set up angle X at 40 effectivity and then Y at 60. And for angle Z, I just put it at the maximum. Afterwards, you can move on with the pendulums. Uh, since you have made two parameters, you need to add two pendulums. This is so that you can like adjust, adjust like the parameters, like how how shaky they are, how movie they are, <laughs> all that, like to your liking. So you add two pendulums. You go to output settings. You click on add. You right click and then click on add and then add the two parameters that you just added. Make sure that they're at 100% effectiveness. And then after that, uh, you can test it out. Oops. You can test it out, try to move your model a little bit, and it will move a lot more like vibrant. <laughs> it will be much more vibrant than using just one parameter for hair physics. So yeah. So well, that is the end of my video. I hope this tutorial can help you learn a thing or two. If you have any questions, you can go on and send me a message at my Twitter or comment down below in this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.